Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can secure your WordPress login form and your WordPress website from the hackers. Hackers usually try to log into your WordPress website using the default WordPress login URL, which you can change easily using this plugin. You can also add different types of captchas on the WordPress login form using the plugin. And for this, I'm going to use the WP Login Logdown plugin. This plugin has a free as well as premium version so I'll start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin how you can secure your WordPress login page using the free and the premium plugin so let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website go to plugins and click on add new plugin and here search for WP login lockdown we will start with the free plugin this is the plugin login lockdown and protection which is developed by web factory and you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 100,000 wordpress websites so click on install now and click on activate plugin all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand side go to settings and under settings you will see the option login lockdown click on it it is asking you to upgrade to the pro plugin there are three different types of plans lifetime personal license which will cost you only 79 dollars for a single website and it is going to be a one-time payment all plugin features lifetime updates and support firewall login page customization temporary access links so all these features are available in the pro version there is another plan which will cost you $99 which you can use on five different websites and you will get all these features and in the agency license you can install this plugin on 100 websites which will cost you only $179 one-time payment if you are a web design company or a freelancer then you can go for agency license which will cost you only $179 if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use the link All right so let's go back and we are on the dashboard of this plugin the first tab is login protection here you will see maximum login retries will be three so this plugin will allow only three times failed login after that this plugin is going to block the user from logging into the website and the retry time period restriction will be five minutes so within that five minutes if the user failed to log in three times then it is going to block that user from logging to the website for the next 60 minutes okay so this is the lockout length you can change these numbers instead of three you can make it five so the user will have five different tries to log into the wordpress website log failed attempts with non-existing username if someone tries to log into your wordpress website with a non-existing username then it is going to block that ip address from logging into your wordpress website the default wordpress username is admin i suggest you to use a different username instead of using the default admin username because the hacker will try to log into your wordpress website using the default admin username so if you're not using the default admin username and if someone tries to log into your website using admin username it is going to block that ip address and this is the block type you can only block the access to the login page or you can completely block the access to the entire website if you are running e-commerce website or any membership website then do not block the access to the complete website use only block access to the login page and this is the default block message whitelisted ip address you can also add your own ip address so that it will not block your ip address from logging into your wordpress website so here you can add the whitelisted ip address show credit link this will show a small link for wp login logdown plugin if you want to enable you can enable it from here if you make any changes you can save the changes next to that we have advanced tab and all these features are available for the pro version only if you go for pro version you can also change the default wordpress login url i'll show you how does this work next tab is tools here you can test the email you can make sure that your website is sending email after installing this plugin recovery url in case you lock yourself out and need to whitelist your ip address please save the recovery url somewhere safe so if you click on it it will show the recovery url which you can save somewhere safe in case if you lock yourself out you can use this recovery url these are the import and export settings next tab is activity it will show the activities failed logins and the lockdowns if 
if this plugin logged down any user, it will show all the data here. Country blocking, you can also block the users from different countries. This is available in the premium version. Two-factor authentication, you can enable email-based two-factor authentication. When you enable the two-factor authentication, after the correct username and password are entered, the user will receive an email with a one-time link to confirm the login. So this is going to be two-factor authentication. Then we have CAPTCHA. You can enable CAPTCHA on the login form. In the free version, you can add the built-in CAPTCHA, which is the math CAPTCHA. So here you will see the option built-in capture which is nothing but the math capture so on the wordpress login form it is going to add the math capture like this and all the other captures are available in the pro version cloud protection is again available only for the pro version and temporary access you can create temporary access and i believe this is also for the pro version only all right now i'm going to install the premium version of the plugin and i'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version i have already downloaded the pro version of the plugin so let's go to plugins click on add new plugin click on upload plugin and browse the premium version of the plugin click on install now click on replace current with the uploaded so it is going to replace the free version with the pro version click on go to plugin installer Okay, now let's go to settings and go to login lockdown pro and it will ask you to enter the license key so when you buy this plugin from the website you will get a dashboard like this and you will get all the information about your plugin here if you want to download pro version plugin you can click on this option and you will be able to download the premium version of the plugin then we have purchase which will show you the purchase information then we have license here you will get the license key and it will show how many websites you have this plugin installed i'm going to copy the license key let's go back to the dashboard enter the license key and click on save and activate license again it will give you the same url which you can save somewhere click close you will see the same settings are there three maximum tries login attempt failed now here you will see another option added mask login errors hide login error details such as invalid username so it is not going to show what is the error to the user so if the hacker is trying to log into your website it's not going to show the hacker that you have entered invalid email or you have entered invalid password something like that then we have block message all the other settings are same let's go to advanced tab and here you will see login url now using the pro version of the plugin you can change the default login url of your website let me show you how does this work this is the default login url so i'm going to open the website using the same default login url you will see it is going to give you the login form now i'm going to change the default login url let's say i am going to change it to login dash wp this is going to be the new url and if someone tries to log in using this default url it is going to redirect them to the home page let's say so i'm going to keep it as it is and it is going to redirect them to the home page all right let's save these settings and uh, let's say if that works okay so i'm going to now i'm going to log into the website using the default url you will wp dash admin is the default url let's try to log in and it has redirected me to the home page of the website so the hacker will not be able to log into your website using the default wp dash admin url now let's try to log in using the new url login dash wp enter and you will see the login form is there so this is how you can change the default login url after that we have password check check if any user has a weak password anonymous activity login logging anonymously means ip address of your visitors are stored as hashed value lock passwords then we have block bots you can block the bots from accessing the login page and attempting to login. You can enable this option. Block login attempts with non-existing user, which was available in the free version also. Add honeypot for bots. Cookie lifetime is set to 14 days by default. Enable Cloudflare IP address. Disable REST API protection. Show admin menu. Then we have a wipe data on plugin delete so when you delete this plugin it is going to wipe all the data let's go to tools the tools are same let's go to activity this is the new installation so it is going to take some time to show the activity and the lockdowns let's go to firewall and under firewall now we have different options two-factor authentication is there 
and you will see the role based two factor authentication in order to use it you need to enable it from here then we have general tab under general tab you can enable all these firewall settings in order to enable you can simply click on toggle all and all these firewall settings are available block bad bots directory traversal http response splitting cache poisoning dual header exploit file injection or inclusion null byte injection so all these security firewall settings are available in the pro version let's go to captcha and you will see all these captcha settings are also available you can enable google recaptcha version 2 or version 3 edge captcha is available as well as cloudflare turnstile is also available cloud protection you will see all these cloud protections are available use account whitelist and blacklist they have their own database which they will use to block the ip addresses use the global cloud blacklist they have a list of blacklisted ip addresses which will be blocked automatically then we have block message cloud whitelist and cloud blacklist you can add ip addresses in the blacklist also country blocking is available you will have three different options here disable the country blocking or whitelist mode allow selected countries and block all the other countries blacklist mode block selected countries and allow all the other countries you will see different types of block you can block only the login page or you can block the website completely after that we have design enable customizer so you can enable the customizer and you can change the layout of the login page so this is the default layout you can use different types of layouts from here then we have temporary access you can create a temporary login link that you can share with other people you can set the lifetime of the link and maximum number of times it can be used to prevent the abuse and then we have license so we have already gone through the license so if you want to secure your wordpress website from the hackers you can try using the wp login lockdown plugin you can start with the free plugin if you want more advanced security then you can go for the premium version of the plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips